video will only be a quick one, but I just wanted to talk about the importance of being alone with your thoughts. Because many people in the modern world try to distract themselves with things like binge watching TV shows, playing video games, and maybe like social media usage and binge eating and stuff like that. But the fact is, even people who are on self-improvement are capable of distracting themselves so that they can kind of like hide from their own thoughts and stuff like that. Because the fact is, when you do do things like go to the gym and reading and spend time with good friends and stuff, while these are all really beneficial habits and I do recommend that you continue to do them, they still technically distract you from your like normal thought process because your thoughts and your mind kind of are based solely on the activity that you're currently doing, whether it is reading, whether it is like um, in school and studying and stuff like that, whether it's going to the gym or spending a lot of time with friends, you're not technically kind of um, like actually focusing on the thoughts that like default are in your sort of brain. And if you spend like every day doing these like doing these activities and doing um and like kind of hiding from the thoughts that are sort of default in your brain you won't like realize the power of just being alone and being alone with your thoughts because when you do literally nothing not even like reading not even meditating not even journaling when you literally just kind of sit there and like look up at the ceiling or look at your wall or whatever you will like your the the like there's so many different kind of thoughts will come into your brain and you can just it just means that you were able to observe them so much more than when you like are doing things like reading and going to the gym and stuff like that and while practices like meditation and journaling are kind of similar to doing this literally just doing it without the intention of like focusing on your breathing or like being grateful for things and stuff like that literally just thinking and like without any kind of distractions like around you or whatever you just like stare at your ceiling or stare at your wall or whatever is quite a beneficial process because you will discover a lot about yourself and a lot about maybe the steps that you still need to take on your self-improvement journey. And you may also realise kind of how far you've come on your self-improvement journey. Because the fact is, when these default thoughts come in your head, they're quite like almost basic sort of thoughts. They'll be thoughts just about you as a person. They'll just be thoughts about just like everything in daily life. And you like are able to observe these thoughts so much better than if you were doing things like reading or going to the gym and stuff. Because... Your literal, literally everything that your energy is currently going towards in that very moment is just the thoughts and the thought itself. So the thoughts become really strong because that is all that your energy at that present moment is going towards is you're like literally just sitting there, staying still, doing absolutely nothing, just thinking. And you will discover so much about yourself just while doing this because, yeah, like your thoughts are able to actually like kind of start to express themselves because you have no distractions. And even if you were on self-improvement, you may not do this enough because you may distract yourselves. You may be like almost distracting yourselves with good habits like reading and going to the gym and like watching educational YouTube videos and stuff like that. And while they are all beneficial activities, maybe just take away 10 minutes of your day uh, like separate to like your meditation and journaling practice to literally just like stare at your ceiling and um, just like think. And let the thoughts kind of come into your brain and analyse kind of what they mean and what they're actually trying to tell you. Because this way you'll discover a lot more about yourself and you may make a lot um, of progress on your self-improvement journey quicker than if you didn't do this exercise. And it's also a helpful way to kind of think about your purpose and think about what like meaning your life actually sort of has now. So with that, I hope you found value out this video and I recommend subscribing because I love this community of young tribal people who are willing to improve themselves so much more than they already have. So good luck.